given the Socceroos for the two defeats inflicted on his fledgling team when South Africa toured Australia in 1994. Indeed, Barker had revenge very much in mind when the Socceroos were invited to the Four Nations Simba Cup. Both countries won their opening games in the tournament, the Socceroos very impressively, in beating Ghana 2-0. South Africa doing just enough to down Kenya 1-0. That set up a very fascinating second round meeting in Johannesburg between the current champions of Africa and Oceania. Your commentators at the National Stadium in Johannesburg, Mark Gleeson and Terry Payne. So, a uh, good house in attendance here tonight. It's a nice crowd, it's a good atmosphere, just the kind of motivation South Africa needs. Absolutely right, Mark. Expectations are higher this evening. Can South Africa do the Socceroos that they haven't done in their last... Uh, this is their third meeting now. Remember that they got beat in Australia twice. Revenge time is upon us. So the Australian side, no changes from the team that beat Ghana 2-0. The goal scorers are in Kimberley, number 11, and number 9, Damien Murray. He's going to be the danger man for Australia. Let's look at the South African side. Six changes from the team that beat Kenya. The uh, foreign contingent is back. Cesar Hamilton, number 2. David Inyati, number 3. John Mishraya, number 10. Eric Tinkler, 21. Former singer couldn't make it. He was injured. Mark Williams is back. Joel Masilela is included in defence. No Brent Quinton Fortune at all amongst the replacements, but nice to see Stephen Crowley back on the bench. Eddie Thompson and Raul Blanco on the Australian bench. The game is underway. South Africa against Australia. A chance for Bafana Bafana to avenge their two defeats in Adelaide and Sydney back in June 1994, two years ago now. Cesar Mutong, number two, was one of uh, the players in that particular game. Neil Tovey, Eric Tinkler and John Mishraya also went on tour to Australia. It's uh, a much changed South African side since then. South Africa has come a long way. I think they were number 95 in the world rankings when they played against Australia, up to number 16 currently. Tinkler finds, or does he, Butelezi. Stop there. This is Craig Foster, the man that Terry was talking about a little earlier, the midfielder with so much potential. Ivanovic, Andrew Marth. That's Robbie Hooker, number six, South Africa. Under pressure in these uh, early stages, Foster will be a key man. Strong tackling in there, but uh, Ernie Tapai holds his uh, ground. Ivanovic once more. Australia, of course, back in their customary yellow canary strip. Miltovi, left footed clearance up to Bartlett. Now, shoes with Shreo. You can hear the chance of shoes from this car. They've come to watch him tonight. They've paid big money to see South Africa's midfield genius in action. At home again, he got the winning goal for his club in Turkey on the weekend. Uh, the papers in Turkey were full of him. He was the big hero on the weekend. They, Kozeli Spor, got a very good result against one of the top clubs uh, in the Turkish league. And uh, they're all writing about John Mishraya in Turkey and in South Africa. And the game is really stuck at a cracking pace, Mark. Uh, Australia have done well to hang on to the ball. South Africa under a bit of pressure. But the pace of the game compared to the first is pretty obvious. The referee is a major in the Kenyan army. So if he gives any marching orders tonight, Kerry, uh, Terry would have known he's done it before a couple of times. We'll have to strike up the band mark. Number two, Blagojevic for uh, Australia, who had uh, a brief professional career in both Holland and in Belgium. Next to him, uh, Paul Trimble, who got uh, the second goal against Ghana. This is a, a long-range effort. Blagojevic will just chip it in. Hooker got it across the face of goal. Referee says there was pushing by the Australians. Free kick to South Africa. Popovic uh, looks a little aghast at that decision. It was a good free kick, Mark. Well worked, Tate. A ball to the far post, head of the cross. I thought he was a little bit unlucky. Putanezi. Bartlett once more. He played up front, of course, with uh, Mark Williams when former singer was uh, suspended in the semi-final of an African Nations Cup uh, tournament against Ghana. South Africa won 3-0 that night, so that could be a good omen. 
South Africa are absolutely brilliant at the moment, Mark. They're knocking the ball away and they're keeping it tight. They're trying to entice the Australians out. They're trying to find those gaps in behind. And really, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an excellent start from South Africa. Uh, at the moment, Australia just happy to keep, uh, keep their goal intact. Neil Tovey plays it wide to David Niati on the left-hand side. David Niati far ball to the far side, it's a good ball. Still in possession. Craig Foster doing some good cover. The That's going to come off the legs of Mark Williams. So uh, it could be a goal kick. So, 10 minutes have gone. South Africa nil, Australia nil. This game could well decide the outcome of the Four Nations Cup. You're right, Mark, but it's all boiling up into a cracking game. Very impressed with South Africa, keeping hold of the ball, making the Australians work, which they've got to do, and I believe that will tell in the latter stages of this game. Now, this could be a little bit of trouble. Neil Toby just marshalling that ball as it uh, goes back to Aronson. Daniel Murray was very quick to uh, try and seize the opportunity. Michelle he got a goal on his debut uh, when he played for South Africa for the first time uh, in Botswana in January 93. And we saw Denise and Gobe get a goal on his debut for South Africa on Saturday. And Gobe, of course, has gone off uh, this morning with uh, his Orlando Pirates teammates to Nigeria. He'll be playing in the Champions Cup uh, quarterfinals, second leg tie in the Baden on Saturday. Good skill, Mark Williams. They sees the three Australians now sits on the up here. Go through South Africa have a chance and a goal. Brilliant stuff from John Mushwell and South Africa have scored after 12 minutes. But really it was the turn of Mark Williams that set it up and it was so easy in the end. And uh, well John Mushwell was prepared. Absolutely great turn by Mark Williams. Spin open the uh, Australian uh, defence, threaded the ball through and then knocked in the nut, Kalak, the goalkeeper, caught in no man's land, never got to the ball, let's have a look at the game mark here, Williams turns, makes some strides forwards, has a look up, and threads a perfect ball through here, what a great goal, shoes with shoe, well done, great forward, good timing, a great start for South Africa. So 1-0, John Mishrael after 12 minutes, it's his first goal since that cracking overhead goal that he got against Ghana and that uh, third one in that semi-final at Soccer City back on January the 31st. He was South Africa's top scorer at the Nations Cup. Now, can they add a second? David and Yati. Mishreo, the hero of the moment, tackle was from Andrew Mark, only as far as Butelezi, and Yati under pressure from Blagojevic on the far side, still has possession. Well, patience has paid off for the home team. Now, can Mark Williams create something again? Corner of Ivanovic. Two important points to pick up from Mark is that uh, Cesare Mutang is the free man at the back and is making his presence case and the change in from right to left to bring in David Nayati is causing all kinds of problems for Australia at the moment. So let's see what South Africa can conjure up from this corner. That goal was John Maceo's sixth in the South African strip. The goalkeeper blocked there by uh, Mark Williams, didn't uh, need to come out in the end there. And uh, Mishreo again, and that uh, right foot gives it away to Foster. Australians just don't have the numbers up front to uh, really use the breakaway opportunity. Take on a good strong tackle. Now on the break on the other side. South Africa have set a pattern in the last couple of games of getting goals uh, pretty early on in their matches. Uh, it took them just 25 minutes against Brazil in April. Eric Tinkler got one after 20 minutes against Malawi in June. And Sean Bartlett took just four minutes. South Africa's fastest ever goal against Malawi in the return leg. That was in June. And then Vanessa Ngobi, 21 minutes against Kenya on Saturday. Now John Mishreo also inside the first half hour. That's the way to play your football. Long range from Robbie Hooker. Andre Irons, I think, uh, had it covered. 
Well, that's actually Andrew Marth uh, who took the shots. Yeah. South Africa are just dropping off a little bit too far there, Mark. The spare man at the back has got to come out to to contact to to make some kind of contact with that kind of break. It's important that they close them down in and around the box. So okay. just battling away with Popovich. It's uh, Australia who have possession with Craig Foster, 27-year-old from Adelaide. There's Hooker now. For Damien Murray, battling there with uh, David and Yati. Murray looked a dangerous customer against Garner on Saturday. Does well to get it back. Rakojevic into the middle. That could be a corner. Yes, yeah, so Australia just beginning to get their game together now, Mark. They're, they're supporting the front men particularly well. They're getting numbers in the box and uh, one or two dangerous signals now for South Africa. They must keep this clean sheet. They mustn't concede a goal, and then I think that uh, the battle will be, will be half one. There's Motong, just taking no chances in conceding the corner. Craig Foster took almost all the set pieces in Saturday's game. This is a difficult one. Arons has to come out. Oh, he was beaten in the air. Referee decided it was... Uh, Handball mark, yes, you see, and he's and he's given the yellow card against the big Australian defender. He's definitely put his arm up. If we have a look at that again, here we come. As the corner goes in, and as the challenge comes in, have a look at the Australian's hand. I'm not sure who it was. There it is. There, it's the big number three. Well, Popovich was uh, booked in the first game as well. So uh, according to the rules of this tournament, he will be suspended for their final game against Kenya. Tony Popovich. Uh, he was on trial at Leeds United uh, in the off-season. He was indeed. We're probably going to better look at his mark. Stupid, uh, a stupid handball here. And as you say, uh, second book. And if that is the case, then uh, quite rightly he will miss the uh, the final game against uh, Aquino. Caesar Mutong. South Africa bringing all their players back now, Mark, as you can see from this free kick. With a bit of argy barge in here between Tinkler and Popovich. Blagojevic. Easy pickings for uh, Neil Toby. Um, a little dangerous across the uh, face of goal. The Australians are all retreating though, as they do when South Africa have possession. Chisere forward. Butelezi. Sean Barkwood might have played the 1 2 with Butelezi. Had plenty of space. Decided to try and take on Craig Foster. Lost the uh, race though. To Pai now. He was also booked against uh, Garner on Saturday. Number seven. Well, David and Yati won league and cup honours uh, last year with uh, Cape Town Spurs. He's now trying the same uh, in Switzerland. Finally, got a chance to go and play overseas. He's been uh, in the South African squad since their very first international. Masilela to Masuelu, return ball, Masilela's nowhere to be found and uh, Australia can clear their lines, Damon Murray took a real nasty bang there from Jacob Chisere well that's Trimbley rather, Chisere <laughs> oh Popovich is now in the book again is he? well if he's booked him once and he's booked him twice and it must be a red card I think the referee has made a mistake here because he was certainly booked for the handball earlier on, or the indications that he was, Mark. I don't know what you think about that. And I think he's now got... Now he realises. Yes, there it is, the red for Popovich. It took the referee a bit of time to realise it, but Australia will be down to 10 men. Popovich had the handball earlier on. 
And now for the foul and uh, two yellow cards for Popovic. The Kenya referee is adamant the Australian fullback will go off. And now South Africa have an even bigger advantage. I think the problem was there, Mark, that uh, the referee didn't really realise, you know, that he had booked him earlier. And once he saw it and checked his card and, and saw that he'd been booked twice, then obviously he had to go. And it must have been something that he had said to the referee because he wasn't involved in any of the play. So it's a verbal banishment uh, that he's received. Well, Eddie Thompson could land himself in the referee's book too, but... Uh... It's a very frustrating time for a coach when a player does that, I can assure you. Jacob Chesterby, I think his challenge on Trimbley was what triggered the Australian wrath. And as you say, Popovich's uh, mouth perhaps went into uh, overdrive. Well, that's something for our panel back uh, in the studio to uh, maybe have a little chat about at halftime. There's some more... Uh, Action off the ball. Damien Murray was involved with Jacob Chiseve. Mr. Garrett from Kenya in charge today. Dangerous situation here, Mark. The last thing that South Africa want is for Australia to get back on terms here. I wonder what South Africa got up their sleeves as far as three kicks. Will it be something different? They're asking for 10 yards, quite rightly. The referee trying to get that South African rule back. They need as much space as they can to get this on target. South Africa have every man back in defence. All 11 players inside that penalty area. It's Andrew Mark, number eight, who looks to be uh, in charge. Trimbley, number 11. Blagojevic, number two. The Australians still protesting that South Africa's wall is encroaching. Neil Tovey, the offender there. Let's see what the Australians can do. Mark with a shot straight against the wall. There's a long-range effort just over the top from Robbie Hooker. I must admit, Mark, I'm a little bit surprised at the position of the Kenyan referee from these free kicks. He should be a lot near, nearer the wall and making sure he's trying to give instructions from about 20 metres away. And uh, quite honestly, no wall is going to take any notice of that. So a little for South Africa. Joel Masilela now, Neil Tovey. Australia just closing up the space. Uh, some good skill here. Marth, that was intended for Murray. A bit lazy now. Australia ranked number 59 in the uh, current FIFA rankings, so maybe is uh, a little bit harsher on the soccer rules. They, uh, Certainly are, I think, inside the world's top 40 countries. And South Africa at number 16, that's perhaps a little too flattering. Cesar Mouton. OK, we'll just lay it sweetly into the path of Foster. What a lazy slipping there on this uh, dewy turf. And Alex Tobin, the skipper works full-time in football, he's a development officer in Adelaide with uh, the local federation. So plenty of time to uh, train and practice on a couple of Aussie championships along the way. This was Australia's uh, free kick, Mark knocked it straight against the uh, wall and Hooker well, he got a good shot in and it uh, wasn't far away from Andre Aronson's goal. Now, Murray with a chance for Australia. Saved oh. by Andre Aronson. South Africa just getting a little bit careless at the back, Mark. You know, they mustn't concede this goal. This, this was a good chance for Murray. A lovely ball that was played through to him. And Eddie Thompson, the coach, realises what a good chance that was. But uh, Aronson was up to the occasion and stuck in her left boot and just played it away for a corner. Andre Aronson, a couple of good saves against Kenya. The stadium, of course, uh, he had his finest night against Germany when he made that brilliant save against Jürgen Klinsmann. Cleared away there by Butelezi. It was the other side of the pitch, though, right in the dying moments of that international against Germany last December. Nil-nil draw. But Aronson saved South Africa that night with a one-handed stop uh, from Jürgen Klinsmann that was world-class. 
He really established himself that night as South Africa's first choice goalkeeper. Yes, there is Murray. Just stumbles a little bit with that ball. If he could have took it quicker into his stride, I think he'd have got behind the South African uh, defender again. But there, Owens just sticks out that left foot and away it goes for a corner. Murray being watched by uh, Neil Toby tonight. The two were opponents in Australia two years ago. Murray just slipping there. Jokic to serve it. Eric Tinkler. So I think seemingly content now to uh, play it out to the half-time whistle and go into the break one goal to the good. The show. Williams being uh, watched by Tobin and right on cue in fact six seconds over from the uh, Kenyan uh, referee so South Africa 1-0 up at half time that goal from John Michel making the difference at this stage it came after th after uh, 12 minutes John Michel with some great skill and uh, South Africa go into the break 1-0 ahead against a 10-man Australian side with uh, Popovich sent off that is the situation after the first 45 minutes and uh, I'm sure we're going to be in for a little more action in the second half South Africa unchanged so far and uh, away they go at the start of the last half of this game. One goal to the good. Cesar Moton. Long ball out there. Very quickly in search of Masilela. That's against the legs of uh, Robbie Hooker. We'll try again with Joel Masilela. Tinkler's also in the fray. He's going to land himself a bit of trouble there. Back to John Mishreau. Nyati gets a second bite of the cherry, little chip. Thinking there from David Nyati, but uh, Kanich is equal to the task. Victory, of course, for South Africa would ensure uh, that they have six points at the top of the table. Australia and Ghana would then uh, share second place with uh, three points. Kenya, with two defeats, are already out of this uh, competition so far. Michelle, it's caught away by Marth. Utilezi, passes from Chisere. Back from Bartlett again, John Mishreo, only to Pai came through quickly, but uh, took up. We find uh, Uyati, he's come forward on the flank. Numerous signs in the first half, back in the fray again in the second half. Mark Williams gets the header in just above Alex Turbin. Goalkeeper Kalic had to dive to his left to pick it up. And uh, well, we remember with great fondness Mark Williams' head in the Nations Cup final against Tunisia. He hasn't scored since then for South Africa, but uh, that one was a fairly difficult one. The keeper did well. Andrew Marth, uh, he was uh, the only player replaced in Saturday's game against uh, Ghana. Jason Pollock came on for him. Good turn from Williams. Oh, great skill from Mark Williams. He still keeps going. Eventually, Ivanovic just stays his ground and takes the ball away, but... Lovely stuff from uh, Mark Williams. Chisere now for South Africa. He might fancy a crack. Crowd is urging him on. He decides to rather leave it uh, to the front runners. Here's Bartlett. Masilela. Maybe a shot from Cesar Motong. 
Chance here. Michelle! Left footer, not his strongest foot, and uh, over the top of uh, Kalic's goal. Mark Williams showed some tremendous skill early on. Blagojevic was the first victim, past Andrew Marth as well. But uh, the wily old veteran Ivanovic just stood his ground and took the ball away. Australia, don't forget, are playing with only 10 men. Tony Popovich was sent off uh, after 27 minutes. Two yellow cards. Mutong to Butelezi. Long range shots, but might have taken a deflection and gone for a corner. No, says the Kenyan referee. Goal kick it will be. Well, we've got a scoreline from uh, Ghana where Super Sports United were in action. Yes, I can tell the score apparently, so I've just heard it was uh, Super Sport 2, Goldfields 1. So a good victory for uh, Super Sport. Maybe a good sign for uh, another South Africa Ghana clash, uh, this time at international level, at Loftus Fesfold in Pretoria. There's Mishweo! Oh, the keeper! He did so well. They draw Mishweo from all of about 35 metres, almost catching him out. Uh, great effort, wasn't it? Well done, shot John Mishweo. I mean, he had a look, he weighed it up very quickly, had great vision, and he was very accurate, and uh, Kazakh did well to grab the second attempt. Now, Mark Williams, can he get past Andrew Marth? Cuts inside, Blagojevic is there with a cover defence. Crowd wants a free kick, referee says no. That'll be a throw into Australia. My word, that was uh, good thinking from John Australia, the goalkeeper in no man's land. Look at the target he had there, Terry. He did, and would have gone in, Mark, there's no doubt about that. Great vision from... Uh, John Mishur, so uh, unlucky on that occasion. And Australia lucky to have a goalkeeper who uh, pops in at six foot seven. They had a stretch uh, full length there to pluck that ball out of the air. Well, it's all South Africa at the moment. It's all pressure at the moment, Mark. Oh, bad mistake there. Toby's caught out, goes down the right hand side. There's Murray. Now, can he get the support that he needs? He holds up. Toby back to check, he has a chance for uh, Hooker, it just bobbled away from him though, and uh, they could get in and stop it, but a uh, little unlucky I thought, uh, South Africa slipping there and allowing Australia the quick break. Must be very careful on the break, they mustn't give anything away, must be very cautious, they mustn't throw too many players forward South Africa and leave gaps for Australia to exploit. Trimbley, he's also having difficulty with the surface, Maureen, just wide a goal, and Andre Arons, uh, furious with these defenders that uh, Mori was allowed an opportunity to take a shot there. It's two attacks in the last two minutes, Mark, that South Africa's got a little bit sloppy at the back. We don't want uh, the same to happen that after happened on Saturday. Have a look at the replay here, Mark. He just two-ends this. It's a little two-ender. Arons are at full stretch and just creeps past that left-angle goalpost. Nice football from the home team at the moment. Could have found Masiela wide, didn't. Now he can spray these passes around the pitch party from Eric Tinker. Now on the edge of the box, no urgency really. Long range effort, oh great save from the goalkeeper. What a trick from Cesar Mutong. That's a tremendous strike, Mark. I mean, the distance that ball travelled, and yet the keeper, Kazakh, had to be very quickly to, to, to block this, to get across to his goal, to, to keep this effort out. What a brilliant strike. Well, that was dead bang on target, and uh, what a good save, too. It looks a lot easier in the slow-mo, but that was going uh, 450 k's an hour. But it was the accuracy as well, Mark, wasn't it, from such a distance? And a rare foray forward for the Socceroos in this uh, second half. Still battling uh, away despite uh, being down to 10 men. 
who just joined us, John Mashweo scored after 30 minutes to put South Africa in the lead. Tony Popovich was sent off for two yellow cards as early as the 27th minute. But here the Aussies on the counter-attack to Pai, denied by Jacob Chisebe. But uh, South Africa's defence all at sea there. Yes, Toby just left for a bit of pace there, failed to cut eight that uh, through ball. And uh, again, Australia just shows they're not actually finished in this game yet, Mark. Butelezi can't find Williams. Maybe Timberley can set something up here. He has to slow it down and wait for support. That's the way the Aussies uh, are forced to play with the lack of numbers. Outside. Now let's have a look at that opportunity for Australia. Once again, it is uh, Tumbley involved early on. Here he is with a cross. Yeah, he gets behind Toby there. Lovely to look at Owens has committed himself. And then it's a good save there as, as I think it's Tabay comes in. It's uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the six way Matang, absolutely right. Just clears it off the line. So South Africa now. Mark Williams. Now, Kalich is uh, earning his pay tonight. I think not only that, Mark, for a change, it's nice to see a South African side that's wish willing to shoot on sight, and uh, they're proving very dangerous, and their, their strike rate has been excellent. Well, he's made two good stops, first on that long-range effort from John Nishweu, and then again from uh, the real pile-driver from Cesar Mutton. Toby hands a chance to Tapai, now Mori! Can he turn inside? Good tackle from Jacob Chisebe. Saving the situation for South Africa there. They're living very dangerously at the back, Mark. I'm sure if they're not very careful, they're going to concede a goal here. And really, that would be an injustice because uh, South Africa have played well here this evening. South Africa also haven't uh, conceded a goal since April when uh, Roberto got that magnificent winner at uh, Soccer City in the friendly. 3-2 the Brazilians won. Australians considering a substitution, you can see down there in your picture, number 15, Sean Craney, hasn't taken part in this tournament yet, he uh, looking likely to come on. Michelle, Butelezi. And they're pushing it around nicely, South Africa, and they're getting a couple of shots in on goal, but just got to keep it up. So Blagojevic will come off and Sean Craney will go on for his uh, first appearance in this Four Nations Cup. Well, he's uh, had a tough time out there in the fullback slot, uh, Blagojevic. And uh, fresh pair of legs with uh, Sean Craney now coming into the fray. South Africa also considering a substitution. That's the reason for the hold-up. And David Inyati is going to go off. Uh, and Isaac Kungwane will come on and earn his first cap. He is South Africa's 51st international since uh, the return to international football. But what a moment for the Kaiser Chiefs midfielder. David Inyati has done the business after his long trip in from Switzerland on Sunday night. And Kungwane straight into the fray with a pass to Williams. Corner, goal kick. So, good moment here for Sheikh Kungwane. Yeah, great moment for Sheikh. He was with Pretoria City as it was uh, the year before, and uh, is really, as I said, a great, has a great mind and uh, a great pass through the ball. A lovely left foot. Now, Mutong has decided he's going to try and get a little steam going. That's a good ball. That should be a corner. What does the referee say? No, a goal kick. Masilela wants the corner. And he became a father not so long ago, Joel Masilela.
the nose down on the walls. Kick on from Bartlett's. Chance here for Mishleu. He's done some strong running. He's only been in the country uh, 48 hours. Still keeping going. Kongwane is crossed to Williams. Good try for Mark Williams. Yes! Oh, what a magnificent goal. He deserves it. He set the first one up and he created the second one single-handedly. Great ball in from Ivers against Kongwane. Mark Williams, absolutely brilliant. Controlled the ball. His back was to goal, Mark. He set it up for himself and he's planted it in the corner of the net. That's really a striker's goal. And all credit to Mark Williams. Absolutely brilliant. Well, that's his first one since that momentous afternoon in the Nations Cup final. But we said earlier on it's his strong point. Mark Williams, when he has the back to goal, he can uh, be so effective and so dangerous. Let's just have a look at it again. Here's Kumbwane with a cross. Takes it down, controls it, hookers up his back, turns inside, and in one movement he's planted it past Kalik into, into the corner. A brilliant goal by any standards, Mark. And uh, well done to Mark Williams. And the Aussies have made another change. They have uh, taken off Craig Foster, who's faded somewhat in the second half, and brought on Warren Spink. So it's a last uh, throw of the dice for the Socceroos. But you can put your money now on uh, a victory for South Africa, and the fans are in full voice. And Mark Williams is getting the recognition that he so richly deserves for his performances here tonight. That goal was uh, of sublime quality from uh, Mark Williams. That's his seventh for South Africa. He's not just one goal behind uh, Dr. Kamala and former singular South Africa's leading goal scorer. This is the uh, new man Spink, taken away by Tinkler, Masilela. Oh, maybe Sonny here on the counter-attack. Craney going forward for Australia, turns inside. Spink rather, left footer, blocked by and collected by Aronsa, a size of relief around the stadium. Offside flag is up against uh, Sean Bartlett. South Africa now are going to make a change, and Fani Medida is going to get a chance to play. He's going to come on for Sean Bartlett. It's Medida's 11th cap, and he has yet to score a goal for South Africa. And if ever the stage was set for Fani Medida to now... Uh, Stake his claim again. This is the opportunity. tonight and he'll know all about it when he wakes up tomorrow morning but uh, full marks to this Australian uh, man for consistently troubling the South African defence when he has uh, possession never giving up there's a lovely view of uh, Johannesburg you can see the uh, tennis arena behind site of one stage of the uh, world doubles tennis championships Trimbley header in from Hooker and Arisa Equal to the occasion. It's another well, another well worked free kick, Mark. The little ball into the near post. And I think it was Martin there who got in there and uh, made others uh, work. Not quite had the power, but uh, great ball from Isaac Kingwani. Look at that, that's perfection. Masilela. He's going to turn it on a bit for the fans, I reckon. He's, uh, uh, he's run his legs out tonight. Once again, his uh, last pass. Just letting him down as it did against Brazil in April when he made his uh, international debut. This is his second appearance uh, for South Africa. First time he's been in the starting lineup now. Medida has obviously got instructions too to just uh, push it around. And fancy though South Africa would like a third. That would uh, well and truly seal the revenge as it were against Australia. They conceded two goals two years ago. They've got two back in this game.
this is going to set the tone for the cricket series uh, early next year, Terry. Yes, I think so. <laughs> it's nice to get one over them nice and early, Mark. Adida. There's even in the rugby this year, one test all. That's the uh, Wallabies. Kongane. Mishwero. Trying to find a little position for himself there. I think just trying to take on too much. But still a chance here. Mutong. Well, since he got the first kick in, sees a Mutong. As soon as he sees goal, wants to have a whack at it. As soon as he sees the whites of the goals, Mark, he unleashes, doesn't he? he? Tried to bend that one into the top corner. Here's that free kick again. To the far post. And that's uh, Martin getting in there. And well taken by Allen. So no real problems. But at least he at least he got it on target and made him work. Open. Medina into the middle, looking for Williams. You get a second bite of the cherry here. Tonguane to Williams again. Now can he turn? Tinko with a shot. Good save from Kalich. Didn't really get the power, Eric Tinker. But still make does it work, a nice setup. A good ball in the rise of Kimbwani, nicely held up and laid back here by Williams. Great ball and Tinkler. Um, just unable to get it past does it. A good save down to his right hand side. I fancy uh, with that maze of players in front of him that uh, Tinkler hit a little bit harder. Might have been a lot more difficult for the keeper. It's a lazy Kimbwani. Time is up on uh, the uh, stopwatch. Maybe chance for a third, yeah, Mishwell! Right a goal, that's a far away. A lovely build-up, you know, Mark, I counted that, there was 22 passes, and then eventually they got a shot on target. It's a great build-up, confidence is growing, let's have a look at this again, he's raising into feet, goes for the return, he just holds it, and the whistle is gone. Just right a goal for John Mishwell. So the final whistle from the Kenyan referee, and John Mishwell's goal, after 13 minutes was uh, the uh, platform on which South Africa built. Mark Williams got a second. Neil Tovey, after seeing South Africa go down in Australia, captains a successful team tonight against the uh, Socceroos of Australia. Celebration for Clive Barker, revenge for South Africa against the Socceroos, and more importantly, another three points. They have two successive victories now in the Four Nations Cup, and they'll just need a draw against Ghana in the final game on uh, sun on saturday in pretoria and south africa having its revenge although the red card to tony popovich sabotaged australia's endeavors coming so soon after danny tiato's costly expulsion during the olympic games it's a reminder that ill discipline is fatal at international level and something the national team must address before the france 98 world cup qualifiers begin next year elsewhere in the simba cup ghana defeated kenya one